Hey friends, this is Casey Ferris. Thanks for checking out another video here on YouTube. Today we are talking about the LUT browser inside of Resolve 15. This is a feature that I'm super excited about because it allows you to preview LUTs without applying them to your footage. So you can quickly browse through a whole bunch of LUTs and find the look that hits your heart's desire. So let's take a look here. The LUT browser lives behind the media pool, the gallery, in this area over here on the color tab. When we open it up, there's two sections. There's the browser where you go through folders, which you can open and close, and the actual LUT previews. And right off the bat, just looking at the previews here, you can get a good idea of what the LUTs do. And you can hover scrub the footage and preview the LUT as you swipe through the shot. Obviously, this is way faster and way better than going through the menu system, which is what we've had to do forever. Uh. So you can go through your shots, pick one that you like, and when you're ready to apply it, just double click and it will be applied to the current node that you have selected and you can move on with your life. So one question I know that some people might ask is how do you get LUTs into here? The answer is we have to go down to our settings cog right here and then under color management, scroll down about halfway and right here where it says open LUT folder, click on that. And this is the folder where all of the LUTs for Resolve live. So if you have LUTs that you've purchased or downloaded for free, you have to drag them into this folder. Okay, here I have my LUTs from ground control and I've dragged them into this folder. I can close it, but before they'll show up, I have to hit this update lists button. That's gonna go to that folder on your system and update all of the LUTs and everything inside of Resolve so that the program is up to speed with all the LUTs that you wanna use. Now I can hit save and your LUTs should appear here in the browser. Once you've applied a LUT to a node, if you go back to your LUT browser and you start to mouse around, look what happens. It gets crazy world. It's like you're freaking Alice in Wonderland, just like eating mushrooms until your colors look like they're made out of pure electricity and you don't want that. So if you want to switch to a different LUT, you have to reset your node. Then you can mouse over and see an accurate preview of what your LUT is gonna do. Another thing to mention is that you aren't just stuck with this look as a final look when you apply a LUT. I'll double click it to add it to my node, but I can tweak the way this image looks by adding a node before this node. I'll hit Shift S to add a serial node before this node, and what the heck, I'll label this. I can do some tweaks to my image to adjust the way the colors look before they hit the LUT. This is really good for adjusting things like white balance, correcting exposure, because a LUT is generally designed for a well-exposed, well-white balanced shot. There's a few different kinds of LUTs and the ones that are available for color grading are generally a log type of LUT, which is designed for footage that is shot in log, it's flat, it's desaturated, and there's a 709 LUT, which is designed for a color corrected image or an image that you know has good contrast and saturation already. So the reason why these LUTs work so well is because these are from our Renegade 2 pack, which is designed for S-Log2 footage. This image is shot on an A7S in S-Log2, and so these LUTs that are designed for S-Log2 work great out of the box. If I were to switch to a 709 type of LUT, like for instance, our rain pack, you'll notice that these don't look very good at all. And then you're like, man, these LUTs are the worst. They're not the worst, they're just not designed for this type of image. So you'll either have to apply them to an image that isn't log or correct your log footage first. So I'll do some basic color correction here boost our saturation and our contrast. Now, if I make a new node and I swipe over these LUTs, you'll see that they stylize this type of image very nicely. So it's really dependent on the type of image that you have. By the way, if you want some really nice LUTs, check out groundcontrolcolor.com under free LUTs that are available for immediate download. And what they do is they take your log footage and they correct it for you. And it's based on the type of camera that you have. So we have LUTs for S-Log2, we have Protune, Cinelike D, D-Log for drones, CineStyle for Canon. We also have LUT packs that are designed for specific cameras. Like if you shoot GoPro, you can click GoPro LUTs and all of these packs work really well with Protune footage. So you can put them on your GoPro footage and they'll instantly add some style without having to do a whole lot of tweaking. So yeah, there you go. There's some basics with the LUT browser as well as kind of some best practices for using LUTs. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments below. If you like this, hit like. And for more post-production color grading tutorials, stuff with DaVinci Resolve, make sure to subscribe to my channel here on YouTube. My name again is Casey Ferris. I will catch you next time.